Hey gang, David Benham here. I certainly hope you've been enjoying the misadventures of the Crit Face crew, and I can assure you there are even crazier antics yet to come. Well, for as long as our party stays alive anyway. I did want to take a quick moment to let you know that the first two volumes of my Dark Epic Fantasy Trilogy are on sale for just 99 cents or pence. Uh, for the week of August 3rd through the 10th. The first is What Remains of Heroes. The second, The Wrath of Heroes. Check them out if you're interested. Now, back to our collective shenanigans. Enjoy the listen. Warning, the following may contain Josiah Bancroft. Join fantasy authors Phil Tucker, Tamandra Whitecastle, David Benham, Benedict Patrick, and Josiah Bancroft as they roll dice and take on the bad guys in a game of Dungeons and Dragons. Five authors, five worlds, one adventure. It's time to get crit-faced. Previously on Crit Faced, the party is currently investigating the local church where they have discovered a vampire in the basement, Doru, the son of the local priest. Their ploy to trick the creature into giving them information has failed, and Kellen charges, ready to attack. All right, uh, will we all uh, rule for initiative then, please? Okay. <laughs> Kellen, what do you get? Ah. Um. Ooh, a three. Uh, wait, a three plus three, six. Wow. Okay. Um, Jean, sixteen. Okay. What's your uh, dexterity modifier? Um, it's awesome. <laughs> it's plus two. Okay. Fifteen uh, plus two. Master Sana. Uh, I rolled a twelve. Do I have to add dexterity? Yeah, check? no, you'll get um your initiative. There'll be an initiative in the middle column of your character sheet towards the top of it. You get a, a, oh, it's plus three, so it's fifteen. Fifteen, and uh, Lord Talfin. A uh, two. <laughs> so I'm going to say because he is not expecting you, um, we're going to say that uh, Master Sona, Kellen, and Lord Talfin, um, you guys get a, a surprise round on, on Doru hey. because of the illusions held up, and because Kellen's uh, stealth was amazing. Guys, you're in a really small room. Um, it's um, like. 15 feet uh, wide so uh, there's not not a lot of uh, room to move in here um, so Doru is just about to, to make it to the door uh, Doru actually would normally go first so then Jean but since they don't they're not they're not in the surprise around master Sonna you're up and um, you know you're um, within 10 feet uh, of this creature okay um, <clears throat> but that makes sense because I'm I'm at the probably at the back of where the door is anyway, because okay. I wanted to protect Irina, and they've, I presume, left the... They room have, they left. They said they're heading back down towards the village. So can I just, like, shut the door? Yes, yeah, so you're going to sort of leap in and shut the door. You're, you're sort of positioning yourself uh, in between Doru and where he wants to get to. Yes. Um, okay, that's fine. I will give you the uh, shutting the door as a bonus action, and obviously okay. that's your movement. Um, um, do you want to do anything else? Um, I can... I can try and attack him. Mm-hmm. Let me slow him down. Um, 18. Okay, 18 versus AC will hit. Um, hang on. With what do I hit him? Wow. Well. <laughs> I'll do the short sword. Okay. That's okay. That's a D6. It's five piercing. Okay, five piercing damage. So you you um, you know, stab at him. He 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 raises his hands in shock when he uh, you know he sees you step out of the mists and your uh, sword uh, manages to you know pierce his hand. As you withdraw um, your sword from his hand, you see the cut slightly heal up. Uh, you can tell you've not had as much uh, effect on him as you thought uh, you would have. It's not entirely healed, um, so you can see that you you know you have done damage. Uh, but he he hisses when he sees you there, and he says, "I know, I smelt food." Okay. Um, tell him so, you're a vampire, quick. Uh, Kellen, it's you. All right, I'm in a frenzy, just spittle spewing out of my mouth, mm-hmm. and. Uh, 
my eyes bulging out of my skull, and I actually get two attacks. Okay. Excellent. Uh, I'm in a frenzy. First one is a 14. 14 will not hit. No. All right, great. Ooh, and a, a six. No, not that will not hit either. So unfortunately, this is Kellen's first time in this kind of... So it's obviously too much for him to, to control the energies and he's swinging wildly. Uh, but you're up in melee range with Doru now anyway. So, uh, and Lord Talfrin, so you've seen Master Sunna take a, you know, draw a little bit of blood and Kellen's losing control of himself. What, what are you going to do? Uh, I, from within the safety of the mist, mm-hmm. I snap out my hands, I shoot my cuffs and let loose with a bolt of fire straight into Doru's face. Okay. Um, so, and, uh, well, there's a, no, I miss. I shoot a bolt of fire against the wall. Okay. So, <laughs> you, you, that's, Which, right? The wall's we, made of stone, stone, right? It's not a wooden church. No one makes wooden churches right here. It is not a wooden church. It is stone walls impact. Some explodes yeah. off the back of that. Okay, that's the surprise round over. Okay, top of the top of round one. Then it is Doru's turn first. Now, Master Sunna, you are obviously you've just drawn blood, so he and he is banished. So he is uh, clawing at you. Now he actually gets two different attacks. Um, now what you can see is the as it claws at you with its hand, uh, you can actually see the cut that you caused on its hand to completely heal over now. There's uh, there's no sign of, That's not of, good. of any blemish mm-hmm. left on his hand. And he claws at you. He gets uh, fourteen versus AC. Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> My AC is fourteen. Yeah, so he uh, slashes at you uh, for eight uh, uh, slashing damage. So now she's a vampire, right? We've got to kill her too. No. no, no. But then he also, as he slashes at you and you sort of raise your arm to uh, catch the worst of the blow, he also leaps towards you and his fangs open to to uh, you can see that he is aiming straight for your neck uh, to bite at you. Okay. That's not um, good. And he gets... Tell him not to. Uh, 12 versus AC. It's 14. Nope. Sorry. Okay. Right. So uh, you can see him. Uh, <laughs> he feverishly tried to, uh, you know, uh, uh, really, has, just, really like, has a goal. But, yeah. with a weight. And Absolutely. So you just manage to, to hold them off on time. Uh, okay. So that's Doru's turn. Jean, uh, you've heard the commotion uh, from next door. Uh, yes, I have. Not in great shape. Yes. Uh, I'm feeling unimpressed with my troop of, of warriors at the moment. That's a lot of arm waving and uh, axe sort of swinging wildly. And mm-hmm. let's see if I'll, I'll show him how it's done with my uh, simple crossbow, my hand crossbow. And uh, I'm going to aim for his 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 noggin. Mm-hmm. So you're because uh, you were behind the doorway, you know, Master Sona. You, you are behind yes. Master Sona. Now. Yes, mm-hmm. I I I shoot the door. <laughs> what did you get? Five. Five. No, that uh, that doesn't do it. So, uh, okay. No. Um, uh, there's nothing else for you to do. No. Nope. I'm invisible, right? So I'm just sort of like I'm gonna like lay low. Um, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Um, if you're you're invisible, you got to attack on it with advantage, actually, because of your invisibility. Oh, oh really? So, so yeah. I get to roll, roll again. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, let's do that. That that would be nice. Let's. Oh, that's much better. Seventeen plus whatever the what do you what do you add? Is the plus attack bonus? Yep. Okay, twenty one. Okay, definitely mm-hmm. hits. Um, I uh, then, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You like to roll your damage? Yes, that's one of these dice. It's a different shape. It's uh, a D eight. So that's the one that looks like a. Is it this one? No. <laughs> looks like it's this, this one. one. It's this one. It's this one. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Five, ten. Okay, ten damage. So, the same again, the uh, crossbow thuds into Doru's neck. He reaches up almost automatically and pulls out the uh, the bolt, you know, with a spurt of blood accompanying it, and you can see the hole in his neck start to heal up uh, almost immediately. Okay. No, 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 not, not ten. Seven. I can't... Add. Two plus five is seven. Okay. That's that's for the kids at home, following along. <laughs> Get your flashcards out. Oh, okay. God. Um, so that's Jean's turn over. Master Sonna, it's you. You've taken quite a bit of damage. There's a vampire trying to 
uh, steal a tender moment? Uh, no, he is. <laughs> <laughs> um, undeterred by his uh, uncanny acts of healing, uh, I will try and slash him again with my short sword. Okay. Another 18. 18 will indeed hit. Okay, and what did I say? D6. That's five plus three is eight. So it's him again. Now, did you get a, a follow up? Do you not? I know we forgot it last time, but. Um, oh, yeah, I do because yeah. I have the bonus, bonus mm -hmm. action. Yeah. Um, so, see him again with I, the slashing, by the way, the, the wound that you cause on his side, you can see it start to heal up almost straight away. So, I yeah. just have to check because I'm not sure if I can. No, it has to be hmm, unarmed, I think. Yes. If I yeah. read it correctly, then um, I'll do roundhouse kick against his face. Okay. Oh! Like that. Like a lady. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, 20. Yeah, that hits. Is that, a, is that a natural 20? That's a natural 20. Oh, so you get to roll your damage die twice. Ooh. Uh, but if it's unarmed, then what do I... What, what's my... Hang on. If I'm unarmed, then I get a d4. Oh, okay. yes. Okay. That's... Uh, Two plus. If you need any help, let me know. Okay. We can roll extra dice for you. So that's uh, five in total? Five in total, okay. Um, so same again, you, you batter at him, but you can you can tell it's not uh, having as much of an effect as, uh, as you'd like it to. This guy seems absolutely fine at the moment. It doesn't seem to have been really badly affected at all by, by what's been happening. Um, okay. Is that your goal over, Master Sonner? I think it is, yeah. Okay. Um, Kellen, it's, uh, it's you. All right. Uh, I'm still in my frenzy, mm -hmm. and I'm even angrier over my uh, the futile nature of my prior attacks. So one of my, my first attack, I'm going to try a reckless attack. Okay. What, what does that consist That's of? reckless. Uh, it means I get an advantage to my melee attack, but the attack... Or, or the the person attacked gets an advantage against me oh, wow. until the next turn. Excellent. Okay, the first roll was a fourteen. Mm -hmm. Second was a fourteen. Uh, no, I'm four sorry. six. Both were sixteen. Yeah, well then they both hit. Oh no, that's that's just the first attack. Okay, so yeah, one hits. All right. Oh, man. Uh, four points of damage. Okay. Uh, you can see it's the same again. It's um, you know, You're slicing at them, but you can see that the, the cuts start to heal straight away. All right. My second attack is a 15. Mm-hmm. Uh, 15 hits. That's it. And that does six, eight points of damage. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so he, you know, he turns around and, and hisses at you. You're certainly the the one who's dealt the, the most damage to him, uh, and you can tell his attention is, is totally focused on, on you now. Um, that's your go over, Kellen. That's it. Yeah. So Lord Talfin, it's, it's up to you. All right. Still hidden behind the mist, I I shoot my cuffs angrily again, and fire up another bolt. Oh, this one hits twenty four and awesome. ten. Sorry for ten, ten fire damage. Ten fire damage. Uh, the um, as the fireball hits him, uh, he gives out a, a scream. Um, you know, ah, like ah, burns, master. Um, you know, we can tell that this is something that has had the, the full effect that you were you were hoping for. Um, mm. uh, as it hit him, um, and you know, he sort of spits in your direction. Um, uh, top of uh, top of the round, um, it's Doru's turn. So what he's going to do? He's 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 in melee combat with both um, Kellen and Master Sunna. So he's going to uh, swipe behind him at Master Sunna. Um, Wait, uh, yeah. sorry, I made a mistake. Ooh. Um, I get plus two damage with each of the hits that I did. Okay, okay, that's good. So, so a bit more often. Okay. Um, so he's taking a swipe behind him at Master Sonna with those vicious claws of his again. Ooh, and he gets uh, 21 versus AC. So no. slices again for another 8 slashing damage. How are you doing? 
Uh, I think I already took eight, so yes. I'm probably dead right now. <laughs> no, you're not no, dead. You're level I'm just three. Wilting. You're level three. <laughs> Are you? Um, what's your, what that, are you? My armor, my armor class is still fourteen. Yeah. So, so what are your hit like, points though? Hit points is sixteen. Oh yeah. So no, that's, that's that can't be right. Is that's that right? Six, that's her sixteen. So that's not master, right. Master, 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 oh. master Summer drops. Uh, but if Doru, however, he is fixated on Kellen because Doru, Doru hungers. So I'm actually I'm going to roll my my big jumbo d20 because this is uh, this is an important one. And did you say I get advanced? I get He's advantage not, on this one. I, I don't think I said that. <laughs> <laughs> so no. um, we get. Isn't he put um, off by my odor? No, twenty-one. <laughs> I, I don't make good food. Twenty-one versus AC. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. So he uh, leaps on you uh, and bites at your arm, uh, and he manages. He bites you four. Okay, he gets uh, four piercing damage. Uh, and as soon as you feel his claw, his, his fangs um, bite into your skin, uh, you can feel. Uh, let's see. You can. Yeah, it's almost a sensation not unlike what you experienced when the spirit in the uh, the death house tried to to steal a bit of your soul, um, because you uh, you lose yours. It also deals five necrotic damage to you. As well as it as as it begins to drain you, and um, Kellen, that's actually a a, a permanent uh, hit point loss. Uh, oh. You cannot heal Ooh. those five uh, points of damage back. Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and you can see as well, guys, that that action has also sustained the vampire. And as Doru uh, feeds oh. off of Kellen, you can actually see Thanks, he's Kellen. stronger. Okay. Mm. Whose idea was it to open I the do trap have- door? I have I, resistance I, I, to piercing damage. Oh, excellent. That means you only took uh, half of the damage that he, he gave you. And I, I didn't take any of that necrotic stuff. Mm, you took all of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jean, it's your turn. You've just seen Master Son of Drop uh, and right. uh, Kellen is being fed on. Uh, uh, well, um, so I think that uh, I feel this, this welling sense of power inside of this energy and I want to try to cast Healing Word and Master Sana. Okay. That's a that's a bonus action for you, so you can do that on top of your, your normal action. Oh, okay. So uh, I'm gonna do that and okay. and I do it. Okay, and what does how many hit points does Master Sana get back from that? Oh that's a D4. Lots. Everyone. Every single <laughs> one. Here we go. Here we go. Can't we all hear the word? Three. Three is it not a modifier? Nice. Do you not get a modifier uh, on top of that as well? Um what's the where's the modifier? It's plus three. Because your ah. ability modifier is your charisma, which is plus three. Uh, okay, so then you get six. Okay, and uh, so that means Master Sona is on the floor but conscious. Uh, Jean, that was just a bonus action for you, although it still did cost one level one spell slot. Um, right. What do you What do you want to do now? And you uh, still, okay. have still like six of those, right? Yes. Spells. Nope. Spell slots. I'm going to uh, try to shoot him off, McCrag, with my crossbow. Because that's really all I can do. Here we go. I rolled a three. So once again, I fired the hand crossbow into the ceiling. Okay. Like some sort of threat. <laughs> okay. Um, that was Jean Master Sonna. You are uh, conscious again. The, the Jean Marlamet's music has brought you back from the brink. Um, what do you want to do? <laughs> um. I want to shout over at Lord Talfrin to please just like, is there a possibility that his fireball can light up um, several of our weapons, like have like an awesome flaming sword or something? It's um, well, your your weapons uh, they're not normally flamm- flammable, and I believe the the fireball just normally works on flammable objects. Okay, because the fire is proven to be like the most dangerous thing that we can hurl at him. Mm. <laughs> So if we put more fire to use here in this fight, maybe that would help. Okay. That, I mean, I don't know. I could, I could set my quarter star on fire. <laughs> maybe I, that will help. That doesn't sound desperate at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm, hmm, hmm. What about darts, though? Oh, what about them? 
Now, if they, if you set the if you set them on fire and it's on fire. Mm-hmm. So I think the the problem is is that these turns last you know uh, seconds if not split seconds so you know the time it would take to especially if you're not prepared to do that it would take quite a while to actually sort that out. So uh, how, how many hit points did I get back? Six. Mm. <laughs> mm. Well. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can try and attack him again. Okay. Um, um, I'll do it again with the short sword and then follow up with an unarmed, another kick to his head. Okay, go for it. We'll see. So short sword is uh, three plus five is eight. That does not hit, I'm afraid. No. Uh. Okay, and um, the bonus is well, okay. Thirteen plus five is eighteen. That does indeed hit. Yay! But it's unarmed, so okay. that's D four again. D four, and it says here plus three, so that would be six. Okay, six. Okay, that's good. There's again. one heavy kick. <laughs> Yeah. Again, uh, you know, it's uh, you hear something snap, but straight away the limb that you got the snap from, you know, moves as if it, it was unbroken. So, um, cool. Is that you? I don't know. It, it, I have like um, I have these uh, key or chi points that yeah. I can use. Okay. Um, one of them is step of the wind. It says that you can spend one chi point to take disengage or dash action as a bonus action on your turn. Yeah. So could I like disengage? from him absolutely yeah uh, and you could jump I mean, back like re- reposition myself yeah. absolutely yeah yeah so because normally- there's a vampire on my arm because <laughs> <laughs> uh, nor- normally uh, in combat if you moved away from if you're in melee range if you move away from something it gets a free attack on you um, mm. but using the disengage action means you can step away without having to, to suffer that so are you, are you- I'll do that okay yeah. what does that look like that's the first time you've, you've, you've done that uh that is true. Um, what does it look like? So um, the vampire's on Kellen and sort of sucking the blood and I've just like hit him uh, over the head with a huge super Chuck Norris style roundhouse kick and then um, step back and like, ninja style shadows come over me and then no one can see me anymore. Okay. Ooh, Ooh cool. Ooh. Um, okay, uh, Kellen, um, it's you. You're, you're being eaten. I'm killing this Doru. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <sighs> 22. Uh, indeed hits. Uh, four points of damage. Okay. But I get a second attack. Yeah. Uh, 14. 14 will not hit. No, no, he manages to deflect that one. Are you sure, was it four points of damage? You didn't have something you had to add to that, did you? That was with adding it. Oh dear, oh dear. sorry. Um, yeah. Okay, so... yeah. Oh, no, you're right, you're right. Six, huh? I forgot the rage damage. Okay. Okay. Um, so, and is that your turn over? That's it. Yeah, this guy, I mean, this guy seems... Blown still, here with a vampire. Still seems pretty spry. Um... Okay, uh, Lord Toffin. I call out, um, McCrog, hold still. I fire a lightning bolt right at him. A a lightning bolt? Uh, Sorry, firebolt. And this is a great roll. I wish I... Look, I'm just going to show you guys for like... And a 10. Okay. okay. So, I don't know if I get extra damage on a natural 20, do I? Um, You Any uh, natural 20s, you get to roll the uh, attack die twice. The damage or the attack die? Um, so did you, you got a natural 20 on the attack die. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. So you get yep. to roll uh, the attack. Sorry. That's, you get to roll the damage die twice. Sorry. Okay. That's a 10 plus 1. Uh, 11. Okay. Uh, 11 fire damage to the back of his head. Okay. So, so Or no. We- 11 fire damage to his specifically only his lips, teeth, and tongue 
in an attempt to dissuade him from biting any further. So uh, Doru uh, screams uh, as the fireball impacts on him. And uh, since it's the top of the round, he's going to use his um, action to uh, disengage uh, from uh, Kellen. And Doru uh, leaps up and uh, he uh, makes contact with the the roof above him. And he uh, clings to the roof uh, and he scuttles uh, across the roof like a like a spider uh, attached to the rooftop. And if you recall, I'd said that there are some holes in the roof, uh, and he uh, begins to pull at the slats um, on the the roof, uh, looking to uh, to get out uh, of the ah. trap. So, uh, Jean, it's your turn. John, come on, yeah. and come back down. Okay. Um, right. Jean, yes. Can, um, I, can so... I make a can I make a recommendation, <laughs> Jean? To run away, uh, you you notice that your your weapons aren't really having much impact on him. I have, but uh, the magic that Lord Talfron has been casting is right. I know you've got a, at the very least you've got a cantrip that is an attacking cantrip. Yes, I have minor illusion, um, so I can make him feel like he's covered in ants. I'm covered in got, ants. You've got one called vicious mockery. Yes, uh, I do have that one, and that's where you you cause psychic damage to someone by by. The sheer force of your words, but what does that do? It just uh, sounds like that. Does he just feel bad about himself? Is it like um, no, he has to like go uh, to therapy twice a week instead of once? Or... <laughs> Let me find it. Just um, a quick question. This yes. is uh, the roof. Uh, mm-hmm. Is it wooden, and can it be set? On it, fire. It, it is indeed wooden slats uh. on the roof. So basically, um, it only causes one d four psychic damage, but it also gives uh, if it, if it attack if it hits the person, they also get disadvantage on their neck at next attack roll. Okay. Roll. Okay. So I <clears throat> I will try vicious mockery. Okay. Um, and, uh, what does that mean? Uh, I, I I say um, come come down here, you wretched raisin. <laughs> right, so I've got to take a, a wisdom saving throw. Um, I actually do quite well. I get nineteen. What's your what's no on the on your spell sheet? It says yes. you've got a, a spell DC at the top yes. of it. Th- thirteen. Thirteen. So he actually succeeds. So so your your so I'm the raisin. The vicious okay. raisin insult does right. not work. Um, well, I should up my game. Ten. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else? Can I- John? Well, I mean, I could. Could I? Um, does does Bane hurt him at this point? Was it? It does. Bane? Unfo- I would do. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's um, that's a, a that's your another action. Which you, you can't take a full action. You could move. Um, I think. You've oh, got, oh, oh, I see. You've okay. got a couple of yeah. things you can take as bonus actions. Um, oh, bonus actions. Um, so, so spells are not bonus actions. Or they well, are. Some of them are. I know your healing spell is. Um, I don't oh, know I about see. the other ones. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, a bonus action would be expeditious retreat, so I really could run away. I don't think there's anything I can do. Um, I could play a, a short little song, you okay. know, just, uh, yeah, just I'll do that. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Master Sona, it's your turn. There's a, a vampire oh, trying to, to escape through the roof above you. Um, okay. Well, <laughs> there's not much I can do about it, actually, I'm afraid. But Grab um, his legs. Grab his legs, pull him back down. Let him go. Let him go. Do we want this no. nasty thing? Let's open the doors. Hmm. We don't want him running around town. We well, let him out. Grab well, his foot. I am pretty athletic, so maybe I yes. could, um, you know, I'd take a jump and, and leap at him and try to <laughs> drag him back down. Yeah, of course. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, so, um, we're going to jump up. Do you have anything in your key points that help with uh, jumping? Do they? Unarmored movement would increase my speed by 10 feet. Can I do that <laughs> vertically? I <laughs> hmm. hmm. don't think so. Um, well, I mean, it's a pretty low roof anyway, and I think because you are... Uh, because it's kind of your thing, I think we'll give you that. We're going to go for a, a grab action instead. Just uh, let me double check mm-hmm. that. So um, instead, what you're going to do is you're going to take a strength uh, check and uh, opposed with his strength check. Okay, but still roll the twenty. Yep. So d twenty and just okay. add your uh, athletics um, modifier. Okay. Athletics. Or you can. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, yes, it has to be athletics. Okay, so. yeah. Right. It's plus two, and I rolled 17, so 19. 19. Uh, 19 is also what he gets. What's your strength modifier? Sorry, did you say plus two? Um, where is strength? Hang on. Uh, the athletics it was plus two. It was plus two. So he, so you, you sort of, you you, you get a really firm grip on on one of his ankles, but he, um, uh, you know, he turns around and snarls at you and then kicks your fingers and you release your grip and and fall back down to the, uh, to the church floor. Okay. That's your action. You don't have any bonus actions. Um, I can, I can only do unarmed, but can I reach him again? That's no, the, that's sure the you should move on. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Kellen, it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to shoot my heavy crossbow. Okay. Not once, but twice. Does it work? Does it work with three industry weapons? It's. Does it what? I'm sorry, what? Does the frenzy work with three industry weapons? It just says extra attack. Um, oh, wait. No, let me see. Hold on. Uh. Melee. Uh-huh. Melee only. Yeah. And he's not close enough for me to melee. No. All right. I'll I'll just shoot the crossbow. Go for it. I got a I got a good feeling about this one. Okay. Twenty. Okay. Not natural, yes. but definitely 20. definitely oh. hits. Yeah. <laughs> I rolled a one. Uh, <laughs> four. Four damage. Okay, it's it sort of glances uh, past his cheek and um, you know causes a small cut that almost instantly just just heals straight back up again. Um, is that your turn over? Um, can I try to ascend close to him? Um, so you can try to to climb uh, like the walls of the room. I guess the problem is he's hanging from the middle of the roof. It's, it's um, you know uh, some some kind of supernatural ability is letting him adhere to the uh, the surface of the the roof. And I'm guessing that the church isn't narrow enough to where I could be clinging to a wall and still try to. But I guess my my great axe is a two handed weapon anyway, right? Mm, um, well, that's true too. I mean, Master Summer was able to jump up and, and try and grab at him. Um, I have pretty good athletics also. Yeah, but you've used your action to, to shoot at him. So. Okay, so I can, um, you can move. use athletics yeah. as... All right, I'm going to... I'm going to move and uh, to just underneath him to I can where I can get a real good bead sure. right where it hurts. Sure, absolutely. Okay, sure. like Lord Talfin then. Uh, it's your turn. All right, I just raise my arm to angle it now at the roof and uh, 16 plus 5, 21. 21 will hit. And it's a six more fire damage to the posterior. Six. So again, uh, Doru uh, screams at you um, and then he turns around and uh, just Lord Talfin in particular, he fixes you with a, a, a gaze of, of utmost malice. Uh, as as he does so, you can see the uh, you know the the skin, the flesh around his face. You know you has been burnt um, and you know it's blistering because of uh, of the flames that you've wrapped him in. But as the flames dissipate, you you can see his skin start to, uh, to start to heal up again, and you you really do get the impression that that because of all this healing that he's done, you actually very you've made very little permanent damage to to this creature uh, and he, he hisses at you and he says I will feed and then I promise you I will find you again and he, he rips pa- he rips down an- another few slats and he's managed to, to create a, a big enough gap for himself to, to squeeze through and he, he wriggles through out into the, the greyness of the Barovian morning uh, and that's the end of the combat well that seemed to go well <laughs> yeah I tried to think I was like that that uh Let's never talk about this again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we're ready to tackle the, the 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 house of vampires. You know, I think let's let's just go right up to the castle and take on fifteen or twenty of them. Be fine. <laughs> we we'll, we we'll all need to be like wielding firearms, <laughs> stuff with fire and fire. Right. And like I've fire. always I've always encouraged that approach. Mm. It's one of those moments where. 
I wish the mist still surrounded it so I could just walk out there and die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are we going to tell his father? Yeah, so He's dead. Oh, He's dead. He's fine. He's fine. He's just off. He went off to college. Keep drinking, dude. He's dead. Yeah, that's not. No, <laughs> no. It's all good. It's fine. Duh, he's going to show back up. No he's going to show. He's probably, he's he's probably killed back his up. dad. Mm. When we're sleeping. He's um, probably gone for his dad. Yikes. He just like smelt him out. Like, yeah. 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 Vengeance is mine, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 uh, that classic vampirism. Um, <laughs> so, you locked me in the cellar for an entire year. I yeah. hate you, Dad. <laughs> Daddy issues. <laughs> yeah, they come out. So, what's the plan, should guys? We, don't have, should we like? I heal think we're going to feel guilty for a while. Certainly, we uh, we achieve level four based on our performance. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, I say no. I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I think that we should. Uh, uh, I think we should race outside and make sure that um, oh, our yeah, friends I mean, are okay. Friend is oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have, run outside real quick and hope they're not just smeared across the road. But I'm if, losing if my she's, empathy for them. Um, Strad's uh, newly besotted. I don't know, uh, but you know, if she's his next victim, then probably like a lesser creature wouldn't go for the for the master's. He, Girl, he tried to bite the master. It did. Okay. But only because I, was the master suspicious. was getting okay. conflicting stuff. I, as, <laughs> as, as you are, are, are debating, uh, Ismark and, and Irina burst into the room. Um, is, and both their weapons are, are drawn. And it's uh, Irina who's leading uh, you know, the, the run and she goes, What has happened? What has happened? What have you done? Is everyone all right? And you can see Ismark is, is running behind, you know, a bit irritated with his sister for, for having to. Uh, sprint after her to catch up. Yeah, everything went no, fine. Everything I went really well. Damage uh, and I've lost uh, five hit points uh, forever. Yeah. I think not that uh, overall, if you look at the big picture, <laughs> yes. um, there are definitely some benefits to what happened. We can't predict them as of yet. We learned things. Why did, you, learned learned why did you let the creature go? We saw it uh, in the streets. Well, it's so small. It's a small one. We we, we only catch the big ones. It was not an intentional. Yeah. So Ismark uh, sort of steps forward, and you know, he's he's not looking particularly impressed. And he said, "It the thing came for us. It, he took one look at Irina, and then ran off into uh, outside of the village instead. What have you unleashed on Barovia? We uh, apologize." Like, we were not prepared for its speed and ability to heal the mortal wounds that our weapons dealt. Yeah. Clearly, we need to learn more about tackling these vampires. Because it should have died many times over, yet our every cut healed before our eyes. And remember, I, I believe is... only I had any effect on it whatsoever in this combat. My companions well, I think were I heard almost feelings. completely I, I... useless. I... Um, if I had had a proper team behind me... Um, I think this would have gone very differently, oh, oh, but wow. overall, uh, yeah, you know. do not do not <laughs> underestimate do not underestimate your foes. Remember, this was just a spawn. This was just a spawn of yeah. the true master. That's the scary bit. Yeah. Yes, this yes. one has been starved yeah. for a year. We nobody oh, yeah. can help to. You're to not face making that. it. Any, you're not helping our confidence levels. Here. I think we now understand why the previous strangers to Barovia did not do so well. You see why instead of fighting against him, what I want to do is to hide Irina. That is the only way to, to escape from, no, from no, Strad. No. We cannot fight against him. We must hide her from him. That is why... Ismark, 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 I speak from experience. I believe I've lived three times as long as you have. I have seen many things over the course of my life. and I've learned through bitter experience that the answer in moments of doubt and uncertainty when your morale is at its lowest the only thing that a true sort of fighter can do is to plan for the next combat to involve more fire mm -hmm. so we must prepare for our next combat we must continue to try and eradicate evil but obviously next time we will be prepared with gallons of oil flaming brands 
um, whatever it takes to incinerate them, because we did see fire wounded quite badly. Crit Faced is a weekly Dungeons and Dragons podcast. To make sure you never miss an episode, and to get an exclusive prequel episode of the podcast where you can find out what our characters were up to before this adventure began, head over to CritFacedPodcasts.com and join our Crit Faced fan group. <laughs>